Welcome back to Tea Time with Glitch. Today we'll be reviewing the Vulcan 121 Amino. This keyboard has a Titan switch which is engineered to be swift yet precise and responsive. The Vulcan registers your command 20 times faster than the industry standard. I will test it out in game later in the video. Here it is compared to the Razer Black Widow Elite in size, as you can see, not much of a difference. The Razer is heavier and thicker. Here I will show you the difference in the key switches. As you can tell the Vulcan keys are quieter but still has that mechanical sound and feel. For the key illumination it has 8 options plus a custom one that you can customize yourself however you want. This one is Fade FX which only lights up and fades away as you press each key. This is the Ripple FX that illuminates away from your touch. simple one called breathing 2.0 this one is heartbeat 2.0 this one is called snake if you ever played snake on a nokia you know that this is old school This one is just fully lit, nothing special about it. This one is called the Intelligent Lighting Amino, which is what they're known for. And this is my favorite wave, which I use for most RGB keyboards. This is the software Rowcat Swarm, which you will download as soon as you connect your keyboard to your PC. It has various options from key illumination to key assignment and general features. Now for the gameplay. Back. Coming from the Razer, it does take a minute to get used to this new keyboard because of the thickness of the keys from the Razer to the Rowcat. I personally feel the gaming difference between using the Black Widow Elite and Rowcat Vulcan is not a huge difference. The keys feel lighter and the precision does feel better and more responsive. But between the two of them back to back, I can't say it's better than the Razer, but I'm also not saying Razer is better. It comes to preference at this point. Overall, I do personally like Rowcat better because it does illuminate more than the Razer. It's brighter and thicker RGB and looks amazing. And that's it for this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you have a product you want me to review or questions about this keyboard, let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.